Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to upgrade a Windows 10 computer to Windows 11. So this is my Dell Windows 10 computer. If I right click this PC, go to properties. This has 8 gigs of memory. It's a 64-bit Windows 10. It's professional edition and it's also activated now to check if my windows 10 computer can be upgraded to windows 11 i'm going to use pc health check click on check now so it says my PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. It says the PC must support secure boot and also the processor isn't supported for Windows 11. So first of all, I need to download the Windows 11 ISO file. So I'm going to the Microsoft site here type in Windows 11 download click on this option here when I scroll down it says to download Windows 11 ISO file click on the drop down select Windows 11 click on download I have to select the language which is English click on confirm click on 64-bit download and it's downloading here now I also need to download the Windows 10 ISO I'm going to use Microsoft Edge for that so I'm going to type in Windows 10 download select the first option Now Windows 10 is hidden here. So to get the option to download Windows 10, I have to click on the three dots here on the right side. Scroll down to more tools and click on developer tools. I get this window here. I have to click on these three dots. under more tools click on network conditions now under user agent uncheck this box and in this drop down menu I want to select Chrome OS so I select that now I'm going to refresh the browser and scroll down and I get the option here so I'm gonna close this here click on the drop down select Windows 10 click on confirm I have to choose the language which is English click on confirm now I have these two options it's a 64-bit download and it's downloading here now what I'm going to do I'm going to create two folders here one is for Windows 10 and another for Windows 11 now I already downloaded the ISO files so it's in my C drive and these are the two ISO files so I'm gonna click on the Windows 10 ISO I'm going to right click and select mount now when I do that it shows up as a drive here
So I'm going to right click, click open. So I'm going to select all and drag it to this Windows 10 folder. Click on copy and it's copying. So I'm going to do the same thing for Windows 11. This is the Windows 11. I'm going to right click, click on mount, select all and copy it to Windows 11. So it's copying. Now the two files are here and it created two drives G and E. I'm just going to right click and click eject. Right click again, click eject. So I have the two folders, Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm going to open both. And this is the Windows 11 here. Now I'm going to click on Sources, Windows 10. Click on the Sources folder. And I need to scroll down to install.win file. This is an install win file. This is the main file. And as you can see, it's over four gigs. I'm gonna click on the sources on the Windows 11 folder. And I'm gonna scroll down to the install file. I need to locate it. And this is it, install.wim. And this is the size of the file. So what I need to do, I'm going to replace this install that WIM file with the Windows 11. So I'm just going to drag it here, copy it here, and I'm going to replace it. So I'm going to click on replace. So what I did, I replaced the Windows 10 install.wim file with the Windows 11 WIM file. So I'm going to right click on setup and run as administrator, click yes. Now it's going to say install Windows 10. I'm going to uncheck this. It says change how Windows setup download updates. I'm going to select that. I'm going to say not right now. Click on next. Click accept. Now, I want to keep my personal files and apps. So I have all my apps here, including Adobe Suite. I can also check that and select whatever I want here. Keep personal files only or nothing. So I'm gonna keep personal files and apps, click next. Click install. And it's installing.
So this is going to take a while. So it's at 62%. So as you can see that's the Windows 11 logo. So Windows 11 has been installed and this Windows 10 computer has been upgraded to Windows 11. So I'm logging in into the computer right now. And this Windows 10 computer has been upgraded. This is Windows 11. So all my apps are here. The Adobe Suite is here. The two folders that were here. So when I right click uh, this PC, I go to properties. You can see the device name is the same. It's the eight, it's the eight gigs of memory, 64 bit. It says Windows 11 Pro. And if I type activation, it says Windows is activated. So I want to thank you for watching. And if this video was helpful to you, I ask you to subscribe.